Themes. The nature of men and women. Throughout the Odyssey, characters struggle with what it means to be a man or a woman, when it means to be a good man or a good woman, and what men and women should mean to one another. Good examples and bad are often juxtaposed. These can be contrasting versions of masculinity, for example, the strong Odysseus versus the weak suitors, or contrasting versions of femininity, such as the various women Odysseus encounters and sometimes sleeps with, Calypso, Circe, or Penelope. Fate versus self-determination. Why do our lives turn out the way they do? In the Odyssey, the answer must be filtered through the tension between fate and self-determination, though at times it isn't always clear which is which. For example, Odysseus's men untie the bag holding Aeolus's winds. They're greedy and think there might be gold in the bag, but instead they release their own destiny, the strong winds that blow them off course. Were they fated to do so, or did they make a choice? You'll have to decide. Creativity versus heroism. If you're getting the idea that the Odyssey is shaped by opposing forces, you're exactly right. In Odysseus in particular, we see a conflict between creativity, especially trickery, and the bold physical prowess that defines a Homeric hero. In the athletic contests, or when he strings a bow no one else can string, he's extremely powerful. But he's also a trickster who sometimes seems to lie just for fun. The result is a highly complex character, and a man who doesn't always seem to know which part of him is most true. Who is Odysseus, really? Does he even know? Hospitality. It seems odd for hospitality to be important in an epic, but it was crucial to the Greeks and their civilization. They lived in a very harsh world, and even had a special word, xenia, for the obligation between a host and a guest. Throughout the poem, anyone who is rude to a guest comes to a bad end, usually killed by a god, while anyone who is a good host or guest is rewarded 